center of the caverns of hell, hidden under layers of evil that have thrived for centuries, sets the morbid domain of the prince of the power of the air. Suddenly, a scaly creature disrupts Satan's ghastly existence with an urgent message, and it reads, Code Red Problem, Conference Needed, Disaster Forecasted. With a disgust and annoyance, this General of Evil agrees to confer with his chief demon lieutenant. This is the story of that encounter. You may enter. My lord, Satan. Do your business and make it fast. Sir, we're having problems of cataclysmic proportions. Where? In the East Sector, sir. The damage is vast. Is there something wrong with my abortion clinics? Oh, no, sir. They're all fine. We kill 4,000 unborn a day through, shall we say, surgical removal. Good. It's selective breeding. We eliminate human life in the name of convenience. <laughs> like the Nazis and the Jews, but with the government's approval. Is there a problem with my pet project, television violence? Sir, it's covered from videos to cartoons. By the time a child graduates high school, he's seen 70,000 murders. Is this effective enough? Sir, just watch the news. Is there a disturbance in my false religion? Oh no, sir, business is booming. <laughs> Over 40 million are into New Age and Zen. Good. Over 45 million believe in astrology. Looks like we are catching up. Yes, sir, only 50 million now claim to be, you know, born again. Is there a problem with business in general? So we're showing tremendous progress. Yeah. Teenage runaways each year, a million or more. Huh. Uh, there's a teen suicide every 90 minutes. <laughs> And your specialty, drunk driving, yes. will claim more lives this year than the whole Vietnam War. Well, is there a disturbance? What was that? So that's the reason all these demons are on crutches and wobbling. What's going on? So that's what I've been trying to tell you. What is that? Sir, that is our problem. Only one thing causes the warfare of this magnitude. Then, sir, you know what we are dealing with up there. Yes, it's some of those sanctified. Our tribe, blood bought. Spirit fever. Saints of God. Actually, presently on their knees in prayer. <laughs> sir, they're literal holy terrors. They bind us, cast us out. Then they do those disgusting, charismatic jigs. Quote scriptures like the Son of God, and sir, if you don't intervene, yes. we all might wind up in a bunch of pigs. <sighs> sir, that's the good news. The bad news is the subject of their prayers that threatens our survival. What they're praying for is causing hemorrhaging in the realms of darkness. And the bad news is, sir, they're praying for revival. <laughs> Revival. It just erupts. It's hardly controllable. At the Azusa Street outpouring, things got rough. Yes, sir. And when the charismatic movement hit, sir, we were jumping out of windows. You know, well, all of that uh, untie my bow tie, who stole my hundred stuff. Then I'll come in like a flood. But they'll say that the Spirit of the Lord will lift up a standard against you. In the word. Are there weapons against them? Sir, no weapon formed against them shall prosper! It's in the Bible, too. Yes, I've heard. I'll hit them with every filthy, lusty thought you can imagine. But it is written, resist the devil and he must flee! Obviously, the enemy is taking the battle more seriously than we are. This is very dangerous, sir. Especially for me. It's time to launch my final, most vicious attack. What's that? I'll remind the saints of their past. Their past? How they were liars, cheaters, manipulators, and moochers. But sir, you know what will happen if you remind the saints of their past? And what is that? Sir, they'll just remind you of your future! <laughs> Saints of God, man, your battle stations. Sound the alarm, not and long to all men of every nation. We're kicking down the gates of hell, not stopping to their level. For the sentence of destruction's on the forehead of the devil.
Tonight, you believe that?